Live under service. Oh. What a day. Let's go, stay please. Last night. I did this morning. Oh. You must take care of pet. Okay? okay. Yeah, I'll see you around. Bye bye. Okay. Walk slowly, yeah. Hi, Pat. Hi, Sam. Uh, I was uh, having lunch at the cafeteria. Okay. You uh, wanted to get you anything? Anything is fine. Anything? Okay. See you. Okay, see you. Roger, lunch. Have a chat, please. Favorite song, okay? Does it suit your taste? My song was too pain. My chest last night. And I had the same problem when I was walking up the staircase. Please go to NHC and the body structure. Okay, I'll call for an appointment. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Doctor. Hi, Mr. Patrick, how are you? Come, take Hi. a seat. So what brings you to National Heart Centre? I felt very uncomfortable when I was walking up the staircase. Alright. It happens a few weeks ago. Okay. A friend of mine asked me to consult the doctor. All right. Okay. Come, let's check your blood pressure for you. Don't mind if you help to roll up the sleeves. Your blood pressure seems okay. Come, let's take a listen to your heart, shall we? All right. Thank you, Mr. Patrick. Well, Mr. Patrick, Judging from your symptoms and your heart tracing, looks like you may have coronary artery disease or what we call blockages inside the blood vessels of your heart. And we would like to confirm our suspicion by doing a stress echocardiogram and we will review you after that. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'd like to also introduce you to my colleagues who will be helping me with this test. Thank you very much. Okay, sir, we need you to lie down so that we can prepare you for the test. Okay, sir, so now I'm going to start the treadmill for you. Feeling okay, sir? Very difficult to breathe now. All right, sir. I'm gonna stop the test for you.
Hi, Mr. Patrick. Hey, good morning, Doctor. Can I take a seat? Mr. Patrick, looks like your test result is abnormal. How can it happen to me? Come, let me explain to you by using the model of this heart. The red lines represent the blood supply to your heart. These are the coronary arteries. They supply oxygen-rich blood along the heart surface into the heart muscle itself. Gradual buildup of fat and cholesterol or plaque along the walls of the coronary arteries can cause the coronary arteries to narrow. Any narrowing or blockage to the coronary arteries reduces the amount of oxygen to the heart. This can cause intermittent chest pain or angina. I would recommend that you undergo a coronary angiogram. What is this angiogram about? The doctor will begin the procedure by injecting a local anesthetic in your groin or wrist. You may feel a stinging sensation as the numbing medication begins to take effect. Your doctor will then insert a needle and introduce a sheath directly into the groin or wrist. The main catheter is then inserted through this introducer sheath and advanced into the opening of the narrowed artery. You may feel a slight discomfort at times. When the main catheter is in place, the doctor will inject an x-ray dye through the catheter so that pictures of the narrowed artery can be taken. A balloon catheter mounted with a metal stent is advanced through the main catheter into the narrow coronary artery. Once the balloon is in place, it is inflated with a liquid for several seconds. The inflation splits and compresses the plug onto the arterial wall, thus enlarging the opening so that the blood may flow more easily through the artery. The balloon catheter will then be deflated and removed. The stent will remain in place permanently. So Pat, how's life after surgery? I adopt a healthy lifestyle. I exercise three to four times a week. I walk and at the same time, I do some stretching exercise to distress myself. So do you still eat out? I do, selectively and in moderation. What about your favourite chocolate yell? I limit it to once a month. Oh, that's good. I hope you guys can have a healthy lifestyle too. Go to your condominium. Let's pick the day again. Okay.